Yeah, today I'm installing a Lock Sound C, which is an old decoder, about 10 years old, this decoder here. Uh, uploading an old sound file of an ICE train. Um, so then I'm going to install that. I'm just programming the sound file now via the programmer. And then I'm going to install it into the ISS. TT559, which is a very rare set, so I've decided I'm going to get this up and running. Yeah, so I've just took the body shell off um, carefully. Uh, one main screw holds the body shell on there. You pop off the doorway on the back, front fairing, nose cone, and the body just slides off. And you've got to take two screws off the circuit board. Lift the circuit board to get access to uh, the DCC interface plug. Take that out. Put in the lock sound 4 or lock sound whatever. This is a lock sound C. And you've got enough space for a base reflex speaker here. So probably maybe mount a chip on the roof depending on if I've got enough space. I'm going to mount it in this area here put the base reflex there or a some other maybe a different type of speaker I'm not sure yet yeah so I've just installed um, a mid-size base reflex speaker 100 ohm for the lock sound 2 chip and that's sufficient enough quite a nice sound out of it actually considering it's a lock sound 2 chip a lock sound 2 chips only have 3 megabytes on board so, there's not a great deal you can do, you can mess around with the CVs, as you can see there, sound, sound uh, settings and all the rest of it, and all I'm doing is adjusting uh, brake sound threshold a little bit more, and then just leaving the ICE sound file as it is, really, there's not much else I'm doing. Uh, change the address. Which is pretty straightforward. Dress number 66. And let's try it out. Um, there we go, that's the hair. It will sound better when the casing's on and it's installed properly. I mean, a pretty basic sound file anyway, even if you've got a lock sound 4. There's not a lot of difference. So that's running absolutely rock solid. No problems there. And what else? I do recommend using heat shrink if you add on extra cables to the speaker. Just use the heat shrink there, make a nice connection with the solder. Uh, on this Trix model you've got to take the board off slightly to pop off the DCC interface which is an 8 pin 8 pin interface fit all, I think it should fit snugly around there got to remember not to uh, short out the chip make sure it's insulated on the, the metal chassis of, the, of this model because it's all, virtually all metal so you've got to be careful there and I'm going to put it all back together now. Probably get it on the track. Yeah, so that's everything put back. Um, bath sealant tape is used to fix the speaker to the roof of the circuit board. Um, bath sealant tape, small amount, is used to fix the chip to the chassis and it also acts as insulation as well, just in case. So that's fitting in there quite nice. Um, I think you could possibly put a 23mm speaker fixed to the roof of the circuit board at that end if you wanted to. Shouldn't be any problems, but I've decided to use a medium sized base reflex.
Yeah, before a fully commissioned train, I'm oiling all the axles, which is recommended by marketing and tricks anyway on these models. So there's one, two, three axle points to oil on each uh, wheel set. So and then it'll um, run a lot smoother because obviously they're not oiled in the factory. And I do highly recommend doing this because it makes the rolling stock wheels run a lot smoother and last longer. So that's what I'm doing at the moment and just got the rest of them today and it's all set up and ready to rock and roll. Yeah, also great care is needed on this model to connect up electric couplings which look like that and have a male and female slot with negative and positive on either side. So we've just got to make sure we marry up those perfect, otherwise we get damaged uh, connections. 